Hi there, <coughs> Mr. Evans in this, uh, Mr. Evans. Here, this video looks at profits and profitability and how to improve profits and profitability. Um, and it is um, from this bullet point here in the specification, you need to be able to assess ways of improving profitability. So, <coughs> when you look at the, profit, the formula for profit, um, uh, profits the excess amount of money when total revenue is greater than total costs. So there's two main ways we can improve profit. One is to increase revenue while costs stay the same or increase by a lower amount. Second, uh, if we cut costs while revenues remain constant or only fall slightly, then we're going to get um, a greater surplus, a greater difference between revenue and costs, which is what we want. So. Um, you know, with all of these methods of increasing profit, they come with a potential downside, um, which in, um, you know, if you're in an examination and it asks you which is the best method of improving profit, um, you need to think of, well, what are going to be the uh, good things about this? Why might this be effective? And then why might this not work? So, in terms of increasing revenue, what could businesses do to increase revenue? Well, first of all, in terms of the finance uh, department, they could look at um, increasing or reducing the selling price. But um, this would, uh, so, yeah, we're trying to get more money in. What do we need to do? Can we increase our price and people keep on buying our product? Or do we cut our price and hope that more people end up buying it? And, uh, you know, although we're making less per unit, we sell a greater quantity of goods and therefore we make more money. Uh, is that going to be effective? Well, um, it will depend on accurate price elasticity of demand data. If we've got an inelastic product um, and we uh, raise the price, that should help us to increase revenue. And as long as costs don't increase too much, our costs um, but you know what if we think that we've got an inelastic product and then we raise our price and actually consumers um, experience more elastic demand than we actually thought they were that would be a problem so uh, it depends uh, reducing or selling price depends on how accurate the price elasticity of demand data is in uh, terms of marketing we could do new promotional activity but obviously that would incur extra costs okay we want to sell more Unit and do more marketing, but um, you know, are the costs of that going to uh, outweigh any extra revenue that we earn? Um, we might look to um, follow a strategy of diversification. Maybe we'll um, go, we'll, we'll develop new products, or we'll try and sell our products in a new market, or we'll try and sell a new product to a new market to consumers that we we haven't sold to before. However, uh, obviously. Developing products, uh, costly, time-consuming, uh, selling to new customers that you don't know is risky. Um, so this is quite a high-risk strategy. Um, finally, we could just simply increase output and hope that the extra revenue that we earn um, outweighs the costs of uh, uh, raising that output. Um, but we need to ask if that extra output will actually be sold. Um, one more, we can improve staff training. Um, if our staff are better motivated, uh, can provide better service, maybe we'll sell more units. Um, but then again, that will have an impact on costs as well. So, what about reducing costs? What can we do to reduce costs? Well, we could try and expand production to achieve economies of scale, i.e. Uh, we get bigger, we'll negotiate bulk, bulk discounts, we might get technical economies of scale. Um, but um, to achieve those economies of scale, it may well lead to a short-term increase in expenditure um, uh, as we invest to, um, to expand our, our operations. Um, and obviously that would have a negative impact on profits. Uh, we could try and negotiate cheaper costs with suppliers, so they're selling um, uh, their products to us for a lower price, but maybe that will impact on the quality we come from. You know, if we're only prepared to pay a lower price than what we've been paying previously, maybe we're not going to get the same quality of goods that we were, um, same quality of raw materials um, for our products. 
we could move from labour um, to capital intensive production. That tends to make production more efficient. Um, we replace the staff with machinery. Um, but what impact will that have on our workforce and, and maybe even our brand image if we make lots of staff redundant because we're replacing them with machinery? That doesn't always go down well in things like the press, um, who may report that negatively. Um, uh, or to save costs, we may move from traditional media like advertising on TV, newspapers, etc., um, to advertising uh, using digital marketing, email, and so on and so forth, um, Twitter, Facebook, etc. But is that suitable for our target market? Okay, so um, improving profits and profitability, you need to have some sort of methods up your sleeve to uh, suggest in an exam for how a business can increase its profits. Often there will be hints in the case study about what uh, the examiner wants to talk about, but as usual, you need to analyse the benefits of uh, those methods of increasing profits, but also evaluate uh, why it might not be effective or what the difficulties with the method uh, might be.